The official traineeship scheme of the European Commission is a traineeship program providing official in-service training with the European Commission. Aimed at young university graduates, it has been running since 1960 and is the biggest traineeship program in the world. Traineeships, which start in October or March and last five months, are carried out in a directorate general or a service of the Commission, in a Commissioner's Cabinet, or in some of European Union's executive bodies and agencies. The program is managed by a dedicated traineeships office within DGEAC, with an annual budget of €7 million, Euros, that runs a selection procedure to recruit approximately 600 trainees also called Blue Book Stagiaries for each traineeship period. <laughs> selection procedure Administrative traineeships i.e. all traineeships except those with Directorate General for Translation consist of the following steps Application deadline at end of January, August Eligibility decision made before end of April, October Preselection decision made in June, November Selection decision made in July, January Traineeship start in October, March. Applicants who advance into the selection phase are listed in a database called the Virtual Blue Book from which European Commission officers entitled to having a trainee are free to choose their candidates. On contacting them, the details of the traineeship are agreed upon. Approximately 2,500 candidates get into the Blue Book for every traineeship period, of whom around 600 are recruited as trainees. As an exception, Directorate General for Translation applies its own eligibility criteria to what are called translation traineeships, and there is no preselection. The rest of the procedure, however, is the same as for administrative traineeship. Topic. Working conditions Each trainee is assigned to an advisor who acts as a mentor. Trainees work full-time, according to same rules as European civil servants although unlike them, they are considered external staff and are paid a monthly living allowance equal to 25% of the basic remuneration for an official at grade AD 5 over 1. Their travel costs to the place of appointment and back home are reimbursed during the last month of the traineeship. It is up to the trainee to find accommodation near the place of appointment. Most trainees are based in Brussels, a large group is situated in Luxembourg, and a few work in London EBRD, DGECFIN, Ireland DG Sanko, as well as in European Union representations in member states and delegations abroad. Topic. Statistics Starting with three trainees in 1960, by 1983 their number had reached 500, and in 2010 about 1,200 trainees were recruited the two traineeship periods counted together. During the first 50 years of its history 1960 to 2010, more than 40,000 trainees have participated in the program. The highest number of trainees has come from Italy, almost 4,500. The lowest number from Malta, around 50. Almost 3,500 trainees came from non-EU countries. Approximately 70% of trainees are female. The average trainee in 2009 was 26 years old, spoke four languages, and had two university diplomas. The October 2011 traineeship has seen a total of 10,424 applicants, out of which 9,349 were nationals of EU member states. From them, 652 were recruited as trainees. Most trainees come from Italy 73, and 44 recruits are non-EU citizens. Compared to this, two years later, in October 2013, the number of applicants had increased to a total of 14,028, with an average success rate of just under 5%.
October 2015 has been the most competitive session yet, with 24,690 applicants. <laughs> List of notable trainees Many ex-trainees have gone on to become people of note, such as Dacian Cholos, European Commissioner and Prime Minister of Romania King Felipe VI of Spain Michael Froman, U.S. Presidential Assistant and Deputy National Security Advisor Prince Hassan of Jordan Silvana koch marin German member of the European Parliament Lauswijs van der Laan, former Dutch member of the European Parliament Prince Laurent of Belgium Manuel Marin, former European Commissioner King Mohammed VI of Morocco Mario Monti, former European Commissioner, Prime Minister of Italy Christine Ockerant, Belgian journalist and TV presenter Odile Quintin, former Director General of European Commission's Directorate General for Education and Culture Vivian Reading, European Commissioner Bep Severnini, Italian columnist Daniel Varela Swanza's Carpeña, Spanish politician